All right. Well, happening right now, thousands of fans headed home after an epic concert at Providence Park. The Foo Fighters headline, and that was the first musical act at that stadium since 2005. That's why it's so exciting. Yeah. They're already a popular band, of course, but then it's the timing of this event. Anthony Castora is live for us tonight there. Anthony, as we said, it's been a while since we've seen anything like this. I think I heard them still performing behind you. Were there any hiccups to report tonight? Yeah, certainly still a lot of activity here, although we are starting to see some folks spilling out of uh, Providence Park tonight. As you mentioned, it's been nearly 20 years, 19 years, in fact, since the last time we have seen a musical act like this. So to be expected, there's a few hiccups to be ironed out here, you know, in terms of getting people to the right gate and making sure that people are bringing the appropriate items like those small, clear plastic bags we've seen. But overall, organizers say it was smooth sailing for a sold out crowd. An electric scene on stage. Dave Grohl delivered an impressive performance leading the Foo Fighters of Portland's Providence Park. It's the first musical act to headline here in nearly 20 years, bringing 30,000 fans from all over like Jennifer Hughes from Lebanon. I've been wanting to see Foo Fighters since they first came out, so it's like a bucket list thing for me, so decades. And the timing is by design. Providence Park and the Portland Timbers just completed a $130 million renovation to attract more performances. The stadium is now the largest outdoor concert venue in Oregon. And starting off with the Foo Fighters makes it all the more special because of the band's strong connection with the city's music scene. You know, grew up with Nirvana and, you know, through Dave's careers. Brandon Amador from Medford says attending the Foo Fighters concert is a childhood dream come true. He's here with his two kids about the same age he was when he first started listening to the band. Hopefully we'll change what they think about music as a whole, so it'll be good. A rock star performance setting the stage for what's to come at Providence Park. And you heard the crowd there just absolutely erupt with excitement. And so this is just really a starting point for a Providence Park. We know there's more musical performance scheduled to come here, and that includes Green Day and Smashing Pumpkins. They're scheduled to perform right here at the venue later on in the year. At Providence Park tonight, Anthony Gastra, Coin 6 News. And to have the Foo Fighters there, you know, a Seattle band that started back there in the 90s. Uh, just quite a night there, and the transformation into the stadium into a concert venue. Anthony, thank you.